Hey Ninos, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Couple of quick shout outs. First to Dave Foss of Dave's Woodworks who made this scroll saw artwork for me, which is really cool, a little bit scary even. And it's kind of funny that he did this because I think, just think, I'm not sure, this coming week I'm gonna be doing a scroll saw project kind of like this. I've never done something that intricate. So that may be happening, it, it may not. It depends upon if I can pad it out enough to make a video. Plus he sent me this awesome mallet. You know, it's like clamps. You can never have enough mallet. A number of people have sent me mallets and I'm always kind of hesitant to use them because you know, they, they look so nice, but I will use it. Eventually I break down and pound something with it and then it's kind of broken in. It's kind of like when you make a, a new workbench and it looks so nice and you don't want to do any work on it. Then Nate, also known as Ember Waves, sent me a nice long note and He's a graphic designer and he also makes playing cards. So he made a couple of packs of cards and he made a special little graphic with my logo on it. I think I'll put that on the wall over here. I saw this beadboard up here. That was what's left over from my bathroom remodel. I had that up there so I could take pictures of that flower stand vase I made yesterday. By the way, did you see that project? Did you like it? It's a, it's an art project, which is by its kind of very nature, a little bit controversial. People will either have well, they have mixed emotions about it. Some people really liked it, other people didn't like it. I'll talk more about this in more minutes. But I like mixing it up with some art and design projects. I'm gonna be doing more of those this year, not maybe one a month, one every other month or so. I think as a woodworker or a crafter, even though what we do is artistic, it's good to kind of push ourselves to experiment with things that are just strictly exist for art's sake, which is what that is. I think by doing that, it opens up our minds to other techniques that we might not have thought about to use in our other woodworking projects. It is so nice today. This is the first day that really is starting to feel like spring. The entire month of January was just lost in rain and cold. Oh, and here's something funny. We went down to Santa Cruz last week to visit Wyatt. He goes to UC Santa Cruz now. And we were staying at a hotel there, and you know how they have the hotels that have all the racks with all the brochures and flyers of different attractions to visit? This is a brochure for Novato, where I live. <laughs> I have no idea wh why anybody would want to come here, but you know, it shows these two people having a picnic and drinking wine in front of the bay, and you know, that's what we all do here in Novato. But we had a good time down there, and why it showed us the campus all of the campus. I mean, we walked for two straight hours and walking on the campus of Santa Cruz is hills up and down. Actually, it's hills up everywhere. <laughs> There's no going down, it seems like. Definitely have to be in good shape to go to school there. And then he took us to downtown Santa Cruz, which is kind of neat, because every time I've been to Santa Cruz, we've just gone to the beach boardwalk, you know, in the pier, the touristy areas. And I, well, I guess the downtown is kind of a touristy area, but it's neat and funky. And they had this retro video game store that he wanted to show me, which was really cool. I mean, it had all these old console games, you know, the Atari 2600, is that what it was? And then the NES games and all these things that are for sale. I'm not a gamer, but it seems like there is a real resurgence in popularity for retro video games. And I wanted to mention that I have a lot more of the bathroom remodel projects coming. I just don't want to do those every single week because people would just start tuning out. That's how you tune out of a YouTube video. <laughs> Next one I'm gonna do is, is a towel rack. I've gotta make a wall cabinet in there. I've gotta make some trim molding, which will actually be pretty interesting. I think I'll try to make that on the table saw cove moldings. And I gotta fill up that opening in the wall there next to the sink where there was a medicine cabinet in there. One of those kind of dated looking oak cabinets. So I'm gonna still use that opening, but I think we're gonna put maybe glass shelves in there or something. I don't know, whoever, designed that bathroom and that was a remodel back in the 80s. They didn't do a very good job and things don't meet upright such as the the light switch and the cover came right up to that medicine cabinet and when I took it out of there it was really held in there in a, in a wonky way. I, I can't really describe it but it, you could tell it was just haphazardly done and it was actually it was kind of like the way I would do it. The other thing is that bathroom is so small that the top of the sink came out so close to the door that they had to cut a notch into the door trim. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing. It's actually kind of fun to have this project as 
sort of a long-term project and knowing that I don't have to have this done in a weekend or two. It's just a guest bathroom. Nobody really uses it right now, so I can take my time with it and kind of design it the way I want. Movies. I've been trying to catch up on the Oscar movies. I've seen most of them. Last week we saw The Big Short finally. I think The Big Short is kind of the front runner for winning the Oscars for Best Picture this year. It's a good movie, but the way I rate movies is how much entertainment did I get out of it and would I watch it again and The Big Short is a good movie it's solid but it's not it's not something I would want to watch again it kind of is tiring and it's kind of too soon to that whole financial meltdown crisis of 2008 that's why if it were up to me to pick the best picture I would go with Mad Max Fury Road because it's just it's got everything I want to see in a movie it's just exciting non-stop from the beginning to the end and I saw it a second time on video and it's just as good if not even better the second time around but there's not a second of that movie that isn't fun and entertaining and last night we saw pride and prejudice and zombies and I was kind of disappointed in that the trailers made it look like it was going to be just a lot of fun and it really wasn't a lot of fun it was kind of dull and there was there was a lot of pride and prejudice and not a whole lot of zombie I never really felt a threat from the zombie hordes that you usually feel in a zombie movie. And I'm really excited for the Super Bowl tomorrow. I think it's gonna be a good game. I really wanna see Carolina win, just because that would be cool to see Carolina win. But it would also kind of be cool to see Denver win to kind of redeem themselves after that butt kicking they took a few years ago. Hey, remember back at the beginning of the season and I asked you all for your predictions on who would be in the Super Bowl? And did any of you get it right? I know I heard from Sterling Davis. He got it right. He predicted it way back in, what was that, August? September? But I think he lives in, in Carolina. One of the Carolinas. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be tweeting during the game, especially on the commercials. I always look forward to the commercials. And I'm looking forward to the halftime show. You know, Coldplay will be good fun to watch I really wish they would bring back left shark again this year although I heard that I heard Lady Gaga is gonna sing sing the national anthem so that should be pretty cool I, really, I like Lady Gaga have you seen American Horror Story this last season she was in that I have it all recorded on my DVR but I haven't caught up yet we're still only like four episodes in and don't forget Better Call Saul starts this week I think okay everybody thanks for watching have a great week I'll see you later